Surely by now you realize doing it your own way will get you off path. And that's what happened to the prodigal son. He says, give me my stuff. I'm tired of being in the father's house. I want to get out here on my own. He took his journey into a far country and there he wasted his substance. Wow. Which means he lost some stuff along the way. Whew. He messed up some stuff along the way. He blew his money. He blew his integrity. He blew it out there being somebody he wasn't created to be. Any brothers feeling me who can admit enough that I've lost some stuff along the way? There's some relationships that got messed up because I did what I wanted to do. There's some things in my life that I've wasted. I've, I've lost some stuff. I've ruined some lives. I've done some crazy stuff. But your Bible says, when he came to himself. Wow. The moment where he said, this ain't me. The moment it finally hit him, I'm better than this. The moment he says, you mean to tell me I left God for this? And there he had an amazing moment. He was reminded of who he was. It's hard to find yourself if you've never been yourself. And that's why sometimes when I come preach and I'm preaching and sharing the gospel, sometimes I see inmates that they're playing, they're joking around, they ain't paying attention, they, they looking at me like, you know, I wish you'd hear up and sit down and be quiet. I don't get offended. You want to know why? Because it's hard to come to yourself if you've never been yourself. Which means it, 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 if you ain't ever had sense, <laughs> it's hard to get some sense. But tonight when I look in this room, all of y'all are looking at me, listening to the word, paying attention. You know what that's telling me? That's telling me that somewhere in your life, you know what it's like to be you. You know what it's like to know what it's like to open your Bible. You know what it's like to know what it's like to worship God. You know what it's like to know what it's like to go to church. You know what it's like to know how to treat a woman with respect. You know what it's like to go and be focused and be fixed on your education or your business. You know what it's like, but somewhere the enemy came and enticed you and you took a path away from God and in it you lost yourself. But the good news is, if you've ever been yourself, you steal yourself. Because it's down on the inside of there. There is the reality of who you know. That you were created for something better than this. How many brothers can say that you've walked around here many days and said, I know I'm better than this. Now listen to me. Listen to me. That's, that's, not, that's not to make you feel condemned about being here. Because being here for some of you was the best thing for your life. 
See, that's why I love God. That's, that's why I love him because when you didn't have him nowhere on your mind and you were out there doing your own thing, it was the grace of God that some of you got caught. Some of you are like, how could it be the grace of God that I got caught? Because Satan's assignment for your life wasn't to get you caught. It was to get you killed. But somewhere God's mercy kept you long enough where even you being here is the mercy of God. And you ought to thank God that the enemy couldn't take you out when he tried to. But God spared your life when you didn't even know he was sparing your life because he knew if I could get them in here and get them under this word, they're going to find themselves. he kept me he kept me he kept me and God knew that Mike Barber would be coming into Telford God knew I would be coming into Telford God knew you would hear the gospel and have that moment where the light comes back on and you say I wasn't born for this I was created for greatness that I've got a destiny and a purpose for my life and that God created in me to be a king, that God created me to be a father. Men, you have to find your identity. You have to find your destiny because number three, you have to leave a legacy. How many of you have kids? Now, I don't want this, I don't want this to cause guilt or condemnation, but I want it to hit you where it needs to hit you. One of my brothers lifted his hands and said, I got three. Tonight, because of you going down your own path, because you decided to disconnect from your father and fall for an identity, that really ain't you. Do things that were wasteful. Do things where you lose your integrity and lose your character and lose your anointing. Because of that tonight, God in his mercy sent me here to tell you that every man created was created to be a father. And the most important role on planet earth is that of a father. And if you don't get your identity, and if you don't operate in your destiny, make no mistake about it, it wasn't just about you. Satan is coming after your legacy. He's coming after your children. Because when the man is out of place, everything else is displaced. Because that's the power of a man. And instead of you being at the softball game, at the baseball game, at the soccer game, instead of you being out there running around vacationing, going to the parks, going to the gym, playing in the backyard, you're in here tonight. But I came to tell you, this will not be the way your story ends. This ain't it. You owe it to your children. You owe it to your daughters. You owe it to your sons to come to yourself. There is a generation out there that is fatherless because most of their fathers are locked up. I came to decree tonight that that ends tonight. I got too much at stake. I must be there for my sons. 
I must be there for my daughters. I must, I must. I got to be there. I got to be there because the Bible tells me that a good man leaves an inheritance even to his children's children's. And I got to be there to raise my sons. I got to be there to tell them, don't go down that road. Daddy went down that road. I, I got to be there to show them the ropes. I got to show them who to stay away from, what not to get wrapped up in. I got to be there. I got to be there. I got to be there. Men, I came to tell you any male can make a baby, but it takes a grown man to raise one. You got to come to yourself. The enemy is after your legacy. He's out to disrupt the great impact that God put you on this earth for.